Hey guys, I'm back for another video. As we were laying lit left as we left off, Shield Exhibit was busy um, finishing his starting zones, and now we're gonna move on to the other tier one dungeons. Maybe we can find one of the uh, unique tier one shields while we're at it. That would be really nice. It's gonna be interesting playing a melee character who can't go anti magic that isn't an arcane blade. Um, I'm really liking the design for this character. It's absolutely amazing. It's considered DLC, and it's only available for donators. I suspect that this is um, how Dark God is going to handle the game when it gets to Steam. He's probably going to be releasing expansion campaigns and uh, extra classes as DLC content, which I really like the idea of. I, I'm glad to see any method that's going to help Dark God support the game. So if he finds a way to monetize it a little bit, I'm not going to begrudge him for that. I've put more hours into Tome than pretty much any other RPG, so... I'm, I'm, I'm very much a fan of it. I've never played a single player game this much. I played a hell of a lot of NetHack and a hell of a lot of DCSS, but Tome was really the the ultimate uh, the ultimate roguelike game for me. It just hits all the right buttons. It gets a little repetitive sometimes and I'll have to take a break for a month or two, but then I'll come back to it and I'll just start having fun with it again. We are just tearing stuff up in here. I think the Stone Warden might just be a little OP, but we haven't gotten to the uh, east or anything actually difficult yet, so we'll see how we do. I'm really looking forward to getting these up on YouTube. I've got a whole back backlog of these videos. Um, next one I'm going to upload is like the second video from the east. I think we did like five, six videos today. I don't know. It's been a, it's been a not insubstantial number, let's just say. Ooh, Sun Paladin, that's a great thing to find on this character. Get that fortitude armor aura. Yeah. On a character that's gonna pump magic. Let's see. Eight physical and spell save. There we go. And I will turn that on. And it has a little bonus reflex damage, which I mean it's not really relevant, but it's nice. It's it's one little more. One more little thing on that uh, on that aura. It's one of my favorite things to get on characters that can actually use magic, because it basically, if you're pumping the magic stat, it, it eliminates the need for you to ever worry about those two saves. Oh wow! What a great ring to find that early. Look at that. Attackers take 20 damage uh, and increases fire damage. So 23 damage. The other mods on it aren't really great. I thought they were resistances, and I got really excited. Dark God apparently uh, buffed all the rares. I don't know how he did exactly, and we'll have to take a look at them as we pick them up. I know they seem to be dropping higher quality level now, which uh, is a really, really big plus. That was my idea. I wonder. I wonder if he. Um, I wonder if he took that idea into consideration. My idea being that. Um, I thought rare items should always spawn at a high quality level that way, even if they have shitty mods on them, they'll still be useful for your character. Because it always drove me nuts, I'd find iron uh, rare items way late in the game. And uh, most of the time, just a regular iron rare or regular leather rare is just not going to be good enough to compete with um, a standard egoed weapon. Sorry, Prox. I got two shields. Two shields. Brass Lantern of Help is probably technically better than the Summertide file, but I don't. I don't really care. Let's see. Did he do anything different? He's changed it a couple of times in recent... Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. Yes, I'm going to cancel recalling. Where is my... There it is. Still does all the same stuff, but uh, it's good stuff that it does. And I'm surprised to see the Feathersteel Amulet has stayed intact. I was really expecting it to get nerfed and release Candidate because it's just so good. Movement speed and... Um, 
movement speed and fatigue to such a huge reduction all in the same item. It's just really nice. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I didn't I didn't mean to do that. Oh no. Oh crap. Let's see if we can get out of here. Oh wow, that would have been bad. What is that? Oh, the stone finds. I thought that a tree was attacking me at range. That would have been a lovely addition to the game. Yeah. Skin of many, which would normally be a really nice find, but unfortunately not of any use to me. Not wearing any shoes yet. Just wear crappy fake shoes. Ooh. Hmm, I'll wear that shield. Shocking shield. Now does that... Uh, uh, yeah, when this weapon hits, 11 lightning days. Very nice. Very, very nice indeed. Alright. Let's go kill Bill. Ooh. I underestimated the Billster. But not really. All right. All right. We got to level up our character here. Um, I'm going to put a couple points in magic so we can get these talents unlocked. Now that's nice, a sustain effect that um, adds arcane damage on hits. It scales with spell power. And so we have a couple activated abilities. These are just so fun. Um, it's hard to just pick what to put points into. I wonder if this would be worth pumping at all. The Stone Fortress, because Resilience of the Dwarves has a 45 turn cooldown. I mean, with the full reduction, that's like 20 turns? What would the duration be? Oh, no, I see. Yeah. Eight turns. Hell, yeah, see if I have the points. That That might actually be very much worthwhile, surprisingly. keep raising our accuracy. Alright, now that we've rolled over Trollmire, we can move on to something else. Um, apparently the arena quest has been changed, so now it doesn't expire to level 13. And we don't really need the generics yet, so we'll move on ahead and do the Halfling Dungeons and then come back and do the arena before level 13. I, I can't get enough of the way this character looks. Every time I glance down at my screen and see the two shields. He's just wielding the shit out of those shields. Oh.
Let's see, do we have anything here worth um, worth using? Not particularly. It's kind of it's it's, it's kind of a little depressing, not using uh, weapons at all because every time something really nice drops, I kind of want it. Nothing here we're going to want particularly either. Okay, and let's see how many of these we can do. Before we hit level 13. Oh, I gotta remember to turn that stone vines off. It cuts my movement speed in half. I keep wondering why I keep just taking these huge spikes of damage. That's definitely an ability you don't want to forget about. here. There we go. That was pretty easy. spent some points in a while, so let's do that. Okay. What should I level up now? What's the cooldown on that? 12? And they all buff the same ability. Deep Rock. I 
don't know if I want... I'm trying to decide if I want to do the pets or if I want to do... Or if I want to do the deep rock, because this sounds cool as hell, to be honest with you. But so does this. Well, either one's going to be a big point investment, no matter what way I go around it. Um, so tempting. No, I think we'll mess around with the pads. Okay, I see it. Each point increases the duration by one, so that would put it at seven, eight, nine, thirteen. So almost fifty percent uptime. That's not too bad. Yeah, I can't resist. Sorry. I gotta do the deep rock form. It's just too interesting to me. Let's see. All right. I see. There. That's better. What was I doing? Right, right, we're clearing this instance. We just killed the boss, that wasn't too bad. Ooh. Oh, there it is. Okay.
feeling pretty good about this new class. Alright, I think we're just about done. Yes, we are. And with that, I think I'm wrapping this up. Put those boots of Eden somewhere on my bar right there. Okay. Alrighty guys, I'm done with this video. In our next video we will do core pool. Um, we will do the actually, you know, I'm gonna park myself in dirt so I remember to do the arena. After we do the arena, we'll do core pool and then we'll do the bandit assassin lord and see how far we can go and how fast we can go from there. Thank you for watching.